This hash brown casserole is one of my favorite guilty pleasures. It goes by the name of funeral potatoes, but there's nothing to be sad about. In goes a bag of partially thawed shredded hash browns. It's okay if they're still a little frozen. You can just break up any clumps. Don't come at me about these ingredients. I'm not worried about the health factor here. It's indulgent, it's rich. Everyone is gonna like it, I promise. To our potatoes, one whole container of sour cream, and then two cans of cream of chicken. An essential ingredient are these dried onion flakes. This is what makes it. It adds just a subtle crunch in there, but so much flavor. I like to mix that up first, and then I add in my cheddar cheese. Recipe doesn't call for salt, and it definitely won't need much with the soup and the cheese in there, but I'm a salty, you know what? Funeral potatoes is a Midwestern dish that was often found on the after-funeral tables. And while, of course, it's enjoyable any time of the year, this is a great side to your holiday meats. Just go straight into a casserole dish. I like to keep it not so smooth on the top so that you get little toasty bits. When you see this casserole, you've seen it done a million different ways. It can be topped with those buttery crackers, melted butter, cornflakes. This recipe suggests chips, and I am not mad at that at all. It's just a matter of what kind of chips do I wanna put. Sour cream and onion sounds good because there's both sour cream and onion in there. For a kettle cooked chip. I'll go with this. So all you wanna do here is crush it up, put it on top. It's the best part, don't be skimpy here. This goes into the oven uncovered, 350 degrees, until it's gooey and bubbly. It's gonna take about 45 minutes. You want there to be some browning, some bubbly, some crispiness, all the things. Y'all should smell this. I'm ready to dig in. First, I'm gonna make it just a little bit prettier with a sprinkle of chives. Everything looks better with a little green. That's what I'm talking about. A few more chives. How good do those look? Trust me when I tell you, the holiday table wants this on it. Now leave me alone. This is one of my favorite guilty pleasures. <laughs> that sounds... <laughs> <laughs> 